Welcome to Mega Knight Gaming. I'm going to do another review today of a free to play open source game that's available on Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and a variety of other platforms, and that is Assault Cube. Assault Cube is available at assault.cubers.net. It's available for free. It is last released November 10th, 2013, at version 1.2.0.2. It takes up less than 100 megs of space. It was formerly called Action Cube, and it's based on the Cube Engine. Actually, it's a uh, the game engine itself is free software, but the game media graphics are under a Creative Commons license. So this is a freeware game, not a completely open source. It has open source aspects. It was designed to be a bit slower paced than Quake, but faster than Counter-Strike. And it is designed to be more realistic and team oriented. It does have some bugs, such as the strafe running bug, where you can move at a faster speed. Strafing And it does have some other issues like using recoil from the weapons to push somebody, push yourself backwards to get out to move farther than you should otherwise move. Well, let's go ahead and pull up the game and see how well the game plays. Here's the game. Get some audio going. As far as the graphics, they are very basic. Go ahead and get some lousy bots in here. There's a huge variety of maps you can start with and most of these maps are designed quite well and they take up a variety of areas. As far as the game menus and everything, they're basic but they do cover everything you need to. As far as the game modes, you have deathmatch, one shot, one kill, team, one shot, one kill, last was standing which has knives and grenades only, and the team version of that, survivor and team survivor. Pistol Frenzy, which is pistol, knives, and grenades only. Capture the flag, keep the flag, and team keep the flag. Hunt the flag. And here's a, some single player modes as far as one shot, one kill, team deathmatch. This is designed to be a multiplayer game. As you see, the game does have assets that are quite dated. The maps are quite interesting and unique. You can get on a variety of platforms. You can find quite a few places where you can actually kind of be strategic with your movement. There are a variety of weapons to choose from as well, and power-ups. Got the dual pistols. And I just did the worst shot of any of that first. Character models are rather basic, but they're good enough for what the game is designed to be. You have the fallback weapon, which is a knife, as well as some grenades. And we'll go ahead and sh show off the knife. Sneak up behind this person. Where'd you go? Now as far as the bots, the bots aren't don't have the best programmed AI as far as being balanced or anything. You do have some issues occasionally spawning in spots that Make it very easy to camp kills, like right here. Or I can just stand back here. So some of the maps do have issues with spawn points. They're just a bit off. Like respawn there. That is a bit. That is map dependent. However, some of the maps it comes with have that issue, which makes the game a game sometimes being nothing more than a camp fest. As far as the shooting mechanics, it is slower paced than Quake and it does provide a unique experience, but it does have it does have a different feel, it's not bad. It's not necessarily bad. It is fun to play to slow down a bit from the non stop running around and bunny hopping like you and Quake. Like I said there is the issue with I right, do have like some map
There is some mapping stuff you can do as well. And it's easy to get involved in the community and make custom maps and custom models. The sound effects are good enough for what this game is. They're not the most impressive, but I've heard worse sound effects from modern AAA publishers. It's designed to be a, a simple arcade style game that's in between a tactical shooter and an arena shooter as far as in gameplay, tactics, and speed. Let's go ahead and show off a different map here. Do the new pistol frenzy. Do some better maps. Four on four. Show the Arabian map. Now you do have an issue with some of these maps being so small. We end up with just nonsense that goes on. The maps end up so small where there's a capture the flag map that is so small that people are just running back and forth capturing the flag. So, as far as this game goes, if you're looking for free to play or op or somewhat open games or freeware games to check out, Assault Cube should definitely be on that list, especially if you enjoy first person shooters. There's quite a bit here that's, uh, it looks dated, but overall the aesthetics fit for the style of game it is, and the knife fights are quite fun, and there is a high skill ceiling for this game as well. It's a game I keep on about every computer I have and jump into from time to time and play around. Well, I wouldn't put it on the top of a list of of first-person shooters and multiplayer shooters. It's definitely one that's clearly above average, and the development team deserves much praise and support. So I'd definitely check this game out. Like I said, it is a bit dated. But that doesn't make the gameplay bad. The game's quite fun, despite a few bugs. And it's clearly a... It's quite a good game to check out. As far as where I'm going to put on the list, I'm going to put it in the B range. Like I said, it's a very good game that has some issues, but it's a fun game to play nonetheless. As far as where I'm going to put it on that list, this is quite the tricky one. I am going to put it. We'll go ahead and put it in the B range. Right below Abuse, right above Lamplight City. Like I said, good game, check it out. It's free, it's available on tons of platforms, and you'll have plenty of enjoyment with it if you enjoy the genre. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.